Okay, I want to show you real quick how to do a numerical derivative, um, for example, with a data set. So we're, just, we're doing this in Spider. Um, first thing you want to do is import your libraries. So uh, here we're using uh, NumPy and Matplotlib to be able to visualize it. Um, so you know you can import these libraries. And then let's say you have a data set. You, you can import a data set. Um, for example, if you're trying to analyze photoluminescence data or you know whatever you need to take a derivative of, um, you know effective mass. But um, in this case, we're just going to do an example function. So let's just describe a function. Let's say it's a function of x, and there's some parameters a and b. And with that, um, we'll return uh, you know a x squared. So it'll be kind of a polynomial plus uh, b times x. Okay, so this will be a polynomial and, and let's let's generate some data points and then uh, show how we can take a numerical derivative of these data points. Um, so the x data points, we want to make an x list. So we'll do um, numpy, we'll make a, a lin space, we'll make a, a linear list, we'll go from zero to 10. And we want, um, for now, let's do 10 total steps. And we'll make a y list, which would be evaluating this function at the x list values. So the x list we'll put in for x values. And we also need to put in our parameters a and b. So parameter a will put two and b will put 1.4. Just it can be whatever. This is just an example list. Okay, so let's let's plot this. Okay, so we'll do plot figure one. We'll set the DPI to 120s, just make it a little higher resolution. And then let's do uh, plot the x data, the y data, and um, we're going to put this little notation, the O notation here, and that just means we're going to plot it as markers instead of a line. So you'll see um, how this looks and we'll put a label. This is going to be um, this is going to be our function. OK, so let's evaluate this and you can go. Here's our variables, our X list and our Y list. You can go over to the plot tab and you can see the plot. OK, so this is uh, some polynomial just plotted. Uh, there's 10 data points from zero to 10. OK, so now what we want to do is let's define a first derivative. And this is what we're gonna do a numerical derivative. So let's say capital D will be our derivative. And you'll take in an X list and a Y list. And um, what you wanna do is you wanna take, um, so we'll say Y prime, which will be the derivative of the Y values. And we're just gonna do a simple difference formula. Okay, so a delta Y over delta X, okay? But you have to do delta Y over delta X at each one of these points. So um, there's a great function built into NumPy it's called diff and what it'll do, it'll output the difference between it. Okay. So for example, if you've got this point um, between zero and one, uh, the first element of the array is going to be the difference between these two points. The second element will be the difference between these two points. So this is the Delta Y. Now, clearly the difference on um, the length of this array is 10, but the difference is going to be only nine long because, you know, you can count the differences, the spaces in between, there's only nine of them. Okay. So it'll be one shorter, which makes sense. Um, okay, so you want to take the diff of the Y list and then you don't have to do any for loops or anything. It'll just automatically take the difference at every point and give you an array. Um, you can look up the function online, just type numpy diff. And then um, you want to divide by delta X, which would be numpy diff at X list. Now, in our case, the uh, delta X is uniform, but if it wasn't uniform, this would be able to give you it uh, the delta Y divided by delta X at each point and everything would match up. Um, Okay, so that's our y, our simple difference formula for numerical derivative uh, dy dx. But we also need to uh, make a list of the output x values that these derivatives are evaluated at. And hopefully this makes sense in a second. Okay, so let's let's call it x prime. We'll initiate some list. And for this, we'll do, we're going to do a for loop and we'll say for i in um, some range. And it's going to be the length of y prime okay so this is going to be for i cycling through some list that's as long as y prime what we want to do is um we'll store a temporary value and that's going to be uh look if we if we take the difference let's say between five and six if we take the difference between these two points um then the numerical derivative it's let's say these are the faces okay so you've got a face here and a face here of some one-dimensional grid well, when you take the derivative between these two points, you're going to be evaluating it at the node. It's going to be the, the de average derivative for the node in between these two. So if you want to assign it an X value, you need to, to assign it the value in between it. So in between five and six, you're going to have to sum these up and divide by two. So 
is going to be um, x list at i plus one um, plus x list at i, and this is going to be divided by two. And then what you want to do is you want to take your x prime and you want to do numpy append um, x prime with this new value. So you're going to you're going to basically build this list. So you're going to take this empty list and start adding values to it throughout the for loop by appending the, this this calculation to the end of it. And make sure when you do this append that it stays as a, a um, an array or, or a floating point variable and not some sort of list where you need to convert it to an array if you want to be able to do math on this. So this is why we're using the numpy append function. So it keeps it as a, um, a floating values that you can compute as opposed to list values that you need to define as a number. OK, so um, then we'll just return x prime and y prime. So it'll have two outputs. OK, so let's let's take a look at this and make sure it does what we want. So we'll say x prime and y prime. We're going to define both the outputs are going to be equal to this derivative function. OK, so it's got two outputs. And so we're, they just happen to have the same name here. But look, we, we're just going to define the two outputs by evaluating um, the function and we need to input x list and y list. Okay, so we already got our, our actual x list and y list values. They don't have to all be the same variable. They just happen to be the same variable names that I put in here, but you know, they could be completely different because it's fully defined in here. So now we define this and um, let's make a plot. So um, if we don't rename a new figure, it's just going to add it to the same plot. So we're going to do um, x prime, y prime. Also, we want to look at it as markers. So we'll put this little o. And you can look up on matplotlib how to make the um, markers and lines look different. This is just a quick notation. You can change the colors and whatnot. And we're going to label this one. Uh, we're going to label it uh, derivative. OK. And now let's put a legend on it so we can see which one's what. So we run this. And here you go. So we got the function as the blue points. The derivative is the orange points. And um, now you can kind of see why we had to uh, make this x prime list. OK, so look, the x diff will give us the delta y values. And it's clear that the derivative of this should be a straight line. The derivative of a polynomial will be a straight line. And um, so, for example, it takes the difference between these two points. And then we needed to uh, say that this is now at the center point between them. So this this x list you know, updates the, the y x values that this derivative should be um, representative to. And you can do it a bunch of different ways. You can do center difference formulas. You can do forward difference, backward difference, and you can get it at the the x points you want at you that you want. But this is just a simple numerical derivative. Um, and also, if you wanted to know the derivative at the surface, you you'd have to do it different, and you could put ghost nodes in. But here we're just doing a simple difference. So we're looking at the derivative at the node for two face points. Okay. Now. That's basically it. OK, so now um, I wanted to show you the points so you could see why these x values are evaluated in the middle of the two uh, face points. But let's take off the markers and we will do, you know, much finer resolution here and replot it. OK, so now you can see this is our function and this is the derivative. And um, let's say now you wanted to do a second derivative. That's no problem at all. So you could do x prime two as we'll call the second derivative y prime Two, we'll call the second derivative values for x and y. We'll say this is the, the derivative of the first derivative points. So we'll put in x prime as the, oh, I need to put parentheses, x prime and y prime as the points. So it'll take the derivative of the derivative, right? So this will give us a second derivative. And let's add this to the plot. Um, so we'll do x prime two and y prime two. And then we're going to um, label this one. Um, the second derivative and uh, you need to you need to move this plot legend now below here. So it, so it adds the legend after you add this curve and let's evaluate it. And this is what you see. Look, this second derivative is a straight line. But actually, um, let's go back and look at what data points this is. Now, when you take the second derivative, it's also going to going to remove the length. It's going to shorten the list by the length one again. So maybe we should go back and, and look at these uh, data points. So we'll change these to, to markers again. And you can see exactly where it's taking these uh, at these points. So we'll just look at 10 points. And so look at the green points. So the, the, the orange points 
are uh, the first derivative, so they're in between two blue points. Okay, so there's two blue points at the at the faces, and so you got the orange point at the node, so it updates the x value to the node. But then the green values are um, the the derivative between two node points, and so you go back, and the second derivative is actually evaluated at the faces again. So um, the only difference is we're missing the surface values because uh, we don't have any sort of um, boundary conditions on this derivative. But that's fine. This is just a very simple, basic um, second derivative formula uh, for computing things. Um, and so uh, that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'll, I'll upload the, the code for this below.